Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Tom Ward, uh, and welcome and thanks for joining to learn a little bit more about our new product, the Everest Mentor Visual IQ Plus. I'm a senior product manager here at Waygate Technologies and really excited that the whole team here has come together to put this great new product on the market. And what I'd like to do today is just share a little information about that product with you and uh, show it off to the world. So here we go. As you can see here, this is our tried and tested design. Uh, the Mentor Visual IQ product has been on the market uh, for over 10 years now. Um, it's very well represented in the market, but what we've done now is we've made it even better. So starting with an updated UI, we've increased the processing power by two times. There's 3x the internal memory on our highest end version of this product. We've updated our analytics, including our blade counter, um, our ADR, we've added a communication uh, with our turning tool so that the systems can talk back and forth. This isn't done anywhere in the world. Um, we've created what we call learn more, some ways for you to learn things on system that I think you'll find interesting. And of course, real 3D measurement. Um, we always try to do some hand synth there and we've done that by adding three more measurement types. Articulation is always an important part of our system. Getting to the indication is extremely important. We've heard some feedback, and so we've made some changes there, as well as um, we've added an HDMI connector and a DC input up in under the I.O. door that you see there. Also added some increased battery life. So we changed our battery a little bit. You'll see it looks much the same, but it's more powerful battery, uh, even allowing now a, a warm swap. And I'll share that later, as well as uh, first of a kind innovation on a video boroscope. We've added voice command. Really excited um, to show you that. So now why don't we get started and I'll take you through this uh, great product. You can see here we're spinning up a video. And so this is uh, our new case. It's a flame colored case now. And as we open it up, I'm going to share with you what you see when you get this product and it shows up at your door. So the first thing you see is a little cleaning cloth there. Um, take some time to clean that up. Make sure your video screen is nice and clean so you can see what you're doing there. Um, we also have a quick start guide. This is an important document. I suggest you keep it around uh, for anybody that's a new user. It's a really easy way for the get to get them up and running and teach them some basics about getting the scene machine started and, and other tidbits that you might need to know. Here we have a tip cleaning packet. So this is a way to clean your tips. You'll notice that we have a tip case included, and depending on how many tips you buy, we have over 10 standard tips on the six millimeter and eight measurement tips. Um, it's good practice to use that cleaning kit to make sure that those tips are nice and clean. That's going to produce an image uh, that is always crisp and is able to show you what you need to see as you're um, as you're operating the boroscope. Um, going on, you'll see here that we have our rigidizer so that little orange thing's called a gripper that locks down on the probe the video probe uh, camera end and if you connect that to a rigidizer that allows you to put this in and have a rigid boroscope go in and hold it in place depending on what particular application you are in at the time next i'm going to show you one of our hands-free devices this is popular it's a hook and it's got a quick disconnect by using that, um, you'll see when you get your boroscope that that connects right in at the top of the video boroscope and can be used to hang uh, in an area uh, which is uh, an efficient location to do your video boroscoping. Here we have our pole mount, another hands-free device. I'm just spinning on the holder. This holder snaps into the bottom of the video boroscope on the pod and allows you to snap it into various holding devices. I'll talk more about that later and show you a great example of, of that pole mount as we go forward. Next, I want to show you uh, the I.O. port. Here's where we have the uh, HDMI cable. And so in this case, we had a DisplayPort cable uh, interface there. Um, we've moved on. HDMI is very, very popular. And with HDMI, you'll be able to connect uh, and communicate with, uh, as an example, an external monitor. So uh, made a nice change there. And, the, and you guys have asked for that. So 
uh, we decided to go ahead and make that change. And now moving on, you'll see that we have a, what we call an A to B connector. Uh, this is a USB cable, and this allows you to connect to a USB uh, to PC. And so by using this, it creates a mass storage device, uh, allowing you to move files off of the IQ and onto a PC or vice versa if you need to. Next, I want to talk about our batteries. So you see we have the ability to have two batteries in the case now. So that's a nice change. And the battery just snaps on at the end the same way they did before. The thing is the battery is a little smarter now and also is 10% more battery life. So you get a bit, little bit more runtime. But when you run out of batteries, simply plug in the DC input cable. You can run this right through there on AC power if you have AC power available to you. But also now we've added this DC input connector up above here. And you see as we plug that in, that allows us to do what we call warm swap. So I can now, uh, you'll see, take the battery off. I'll do that if we move on here. And the system will remain on while it's on AC power. I can then replace the battery with a fully charged battery. And then I'll unplug that cable and we can move on. So now I'm going to move on and talk about some other things that we can do. So we have up to 2x processing power on this new device, and that allows us to run multiple analytics at the same time. Here you see our assisted defect recognition, and if you see the video there, you're watching that move along. That's identifying different defects that we've trained the system to operate on. And in this case, we're going to show you a little bit more on this as we um, go forward with some other live events that I want you to make you available on. So I think it's on uh, the 21st for turning tool communication. So there'll be a whole piece on that, as well as um, on February 29th, we're gonna get into blade counter and assisted defect recognition. We've done a lot here on these, so they've advanced and it'll be something that you definitely wanna tune into. And this 2X processing power allows you to run these things simultaneously. Really a great addition to the system. As I told you, we want to make sure that we always hit real 3D measurement. We're the market leaders in measurement. Uh, now we've added three new measurement types. Uh, so now we have 12 measurement types available. Uh, some of these are automated measurement types. And we're also going to take you through that um, on March 14th. So on March 14th, look for another live event that will get into a lot more detail on what these new measurement types do for you and how they can help you with your inspections, as well as some uh, enhancements on our 3D stitching, allowing you to measure larger areas. So great, uh, great thing there to look forward to. And, and then here, I want to talk about Learn More. I mentioned this uh, at the beginning. So you'll see this video playing. Learn More for now is on our measurement and image transfer area of our UI. And so what you'll see here when you first go in is a little exclamation point. And if you click that exclamation point, say you're in the measurement mode, it's going to put this little page up. And then you can select, maybe I want to learn more about blade tip clearance. And that'll take you through and this video is on a loop that you're seeing here. You see the exclamation point I was showing you there. And so I can learn more about blade tip clearance. Um, I can learn more about depth measurements. Um, you'll see on the right there, it's taking you through that. There could be one page. There could be two page. It might be just a PDF. Or in this case, you'll see that there's a video playing. So right on the device, you're allowed to go through and learn a bit more about the machine for some things that maybe you haven't experienced before, or maybe you need to uh, have like a little recap because you haven't used it in a while. So learn more is an awesome way to do that. And so now I'm going to go back to the video and I'm going to talk about a few more areas um, that I think are going to be important. And so we'll do that now, um, starting now with like uh, a session on our holding devices is show you several ways that we've made the Mentor Visual IQ Plus easy to be hands-free to get to the areas that you need it to be in while you're doing your inspection work. The first is typically for a flat surface or a table mount. We just have a kickstand. So it's the holder that you uh, know and love and it has a kickstand that swings out so that you can set it up and get a good view of the screen while you're doing your work. Secondly, tried and true, we have the 
magic arm. The magic arm has two long bars. You can rotate those into any position that you want to make it easy to do your work. You see in this case we've just attached here to this piece of plumbing, rotated the system into the position we need it to, and now we're ready to do the work. We also have a hook mount. This one's quite popular. So as you can see here, there's a quick disconnect uh, in the back of this. It just snaps in place very easily. You take the hook, you locate it where you want it, and the system will just be at the position you want it based on where you put that hook. Another new and very popular design is our pole mount. So you have our case. You can see that down here. This pole mount connects to the outside of the case. It's very adjustable, so the case could be up on a table or down on the floor, depending on how you want to do your job. And then it simply connects to the video boroscope, and you have this hands-free way to use the system. And then lastly, I want to show you one other thing. So I talked about the hook. The hook's great. It's very popular, as I said. Sometimes there can be things that can't quite get over. So what we did is we made a strap. And this strap's adjustable, so you can put it over pretty much anything. And from there, it uses the same quick disconnect that I showed you with a hook. So you just snap it into place. Put the video borescope where you want it. Adjust the strap however you want it. And again, easy, hands-free. So now let's move on to the next video. Um, and this will get into a discussion on articulation. A really important change that we've made in Mentor Visual IQ Plus is to our articulation engine. And as I've uh, worked with customers over the years, they tell us, I really need to have a video boroscope that articulates so that it gets to where I need to see. You can see that's doing that here. But secondly, it needs to do that even if I have to go around a couple bends or I'm in a couple loops. So we've made sure that we can deliver on that as well. Another thing they ask for is really to feel like they're connected to the camera. So when I'm using this joystick to articulate, I want to feel like every time I move my thumb to joystick articulate, I feel like that camera is attached to me. And we've done a nice job in updating that, and I hope you'll like it. And lastly, and really importantly, our customers tell us, your video boroscope really articulates well new out of the box. But I need that to happen 10 months into owning the video boroscope. So we took that challenge and we've now tested this new articulation engine to 10,000 cycles. That's up, down, left, right, 10,000 times. And we are getting the same performance after 10,000 cycles as you do when you first open it up and turn it on. I hope you appreciate all the work we did there and please give us feedback as you start to learn and use this new tool. This is our video on um, voice commands. Um, so what I'm doing here, and we'll let this play through in a second, is I'm talking about hey, mentor. talking to the system and it'll Save respond to my actions. Mitch. Hello, mentor. Go to live. Hey, mentor. Start recording. Hey, mentor. Rotate image. Hey, mentor. Stop recording. That's just a sample of what this thing can do. There's over 100 different commands and probably 500 different variations on how you can talk to it. Um, really excited to have shown you that and can't wait to see how you all use that out in the market today. Thanks a lot. So thank you very much for um, joining us today. If there's any questions that come in, I will uh, be happy to answer those now. Um, you'll see that um, we'll have a way for you to contact us to learn more about uh, where you can get our uh, where you can get information here at waygate.tech.com slash MBIQ. And so I'll pause here for a second, wait and see if we have any questions come through. But uh, other than that, um, I hope you have a great rest of your day.